Hey you guys and welcome to my YouTube channel Reflectively Made with Juanita. I am Juanita and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning back, thank you kindly for coming back. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that you can receive notifications each time I release a new video. So today is Make It Happen Monday, you guys. No matter what obstacles may be standing in your way or the challenges or setbacks that you may be experiencing, just move forward and make it happen, okay? And if you need a little help staying on track with your goals and making sure you're accomplishing the things that need to get done, grab a planner. I'm currently using this planner called Make It Happen 2023 Monthly Planner. The link to this planner will be in the description section of this video. But yeah, it's very helpful because I'm writing down my plans for the week and I make sure I check it on a daily basis to make sure I'm getting things done because we have to make it happen, all right? So you're actually tuning into a series that I like to call 30 Ways to Level Up, Personal Growth Edition, wherein I'm gonna be sharing 30 ways that we all can level up in our personal growth journey. And today I'm gonna be sharing the number 25 way that we can level up. So if you miss number one through 24, just simply go back to my channel, Reflectively Made with Dwaynita, watch number one through 24, so you can get all caught up. Now keep in mind, the information I'm sharing is not in any particular order, but I do encourage you all to grab a notepad and a pen so that you can take notes on any piece of information you hear that resonates with you and your situation. That way you can reference the notes later and that way you can Im implement it and apply what you hear, okay? The other thing that I wanna inform you of is the information I'm sharing is from my own personal life experience, from my own opinions and from my own perspectives. But I do encourage you to share your perspectives below in the comment section. So that way we can continue the conversation, continue to enlighten each other and continue to inspire each other. Okay. The other thing is this information I'm sharing is not new information. It's information I'm sure we've heard over time. So you could just look at this as a friendly reminder session and look at me as your friendly messenger. And last but not least, make sure you subscribe to my channel Reflectively Made with Juanita so that you can be notified when I release a new video. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so those of you who have been following along know that I like to reference and read from my notes because I wanna make sure that I come correct when I'm giving you guys this good, good information. So the number 25 way that we can level up in our personal growth journey is to change our perspectives of a setback. So we need to change our perspective of a setback, right? So a setback is actually a step back that will allow you to reflect and assess where you need to improve and do better to move forward. So by changing our perspective, we can actually use a setback to allow us to assess whether or not the environment we are in or we were previously in was is conducive for our, um, for our continued journey, our personal growth journey. And conducive means um, providing the right conditions for something good to happen or exist. So the step back allows us to assess our environment, right? So we can use a setback to reassess our goals and what we value. And we can use a setback to assess the pros and cons of the, the situation that may have set us back, right? So a setback is defined as something that happens that delays or prevents a process from developing. And it's also defined as a checking of progress. So we can use the setback as a step back to check our progress and our growth journey, right? That's a different perspective. So is there something you need to improve, right? So with, the, with this uh, personal growth journey, we always need to do ask ourselves some self-reflecting questions, right? Because we always need to do self-reflection to gain perspective, a, a better perspective. So we can ask ourselves, is there something you need to improve is there something you need to get rid of? Is there an area in your life you need to change? Are you on track to reach your goal, right? So setbacks are actually an opportunity for us to check our progress, right? Um, and, it, and it's an opportunity for us to reassess and regroup. Who would have thought about it like that, okay? So 
Change your perspective of a setback and look for the lesson in the setback, right? Because a setback is, and you know what, before I get to the end of this is, I wanna share a little story about me. So I was with a company for 15 years and I was nice and comfortable in that, that, that company, right? And I was promoted, I was promoted all the way to a lead position. And I thought I was doing fine. But I know along the way, I was getting like, um, during meetings and stuff, I was getting like tips uh, of areas that I need to improve in to be a better leader. And I wasn't taking heed to the tips. So because of that, because of my relaxed state of mind and my comfort zone, I wasn't doing what I needed to do in order to elevate higher as a leader. And so I was laid off, I was a part of a laid a, a group layoff because there was a bunch of us that was laid off. I was a part of that layoff. And at that moment, I felt like it was a setback for me and my goals, right? But in hindsight and looking back, I realized that it actually was a good thing that that happened to me because it helped me put things in perspective and it helped me to really analyze myself and be honest with myself and ask myself, was I really doing what I needed to do to elevate higher as a leader? Was I really taking it serious or was I just comfortable knowing that I've been there for a long time? And it actually, that setback, allowed me to focus more on school and actually complete my degree, my bachelor's degree. Um, and then it also propelled me to challenge myself to try different um, areas of employment, right? Because I was with that company for a long time, so I called that company home and I didn't know anything else outside of that company. But it allowed me to challenge myself to actually go for uh, different positions at, at, at different employers and get more exposure and experience in different areas. Okay. So that, that's, that's, that setback actually helped me. So that's how you need to, to think of a setback. So change your perspective of a setback and look at it as a lesson. Look for the lesson in the setback, right? Look at it as an opportunity for you to reassess and regroup and actually challenge yourself to try different things. All right. So at the end of the day, a setback is a setup to help you step up and dig a little bit deeper within yourself and take account accountability for your role in that setback. And then it allows you to reflect and decide how you're going to step up and move forward. All right. So that's all for today. Thank you kindly for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Reflectively Made with Duanita. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And share this video with anyone you believe needs a little bit of boost of motivation, encouragement, or inspiration. And last but not least, remember, you all are reflectively made, majorly anointed, and destined for elevation. See you in the next video.